All right, so let's follow Poppy Sweeten. What a weird name, Poppy Sweeten. Like I said, it sounds like a uh, Jody Sweeten from a. Uh... Oh, what's her name? Poppy Sweeting. She reminds me of Jody Sweeten from uh, Full House. Centaur. Carefully. A centaur. Look at this guy. Tread carefully. Whatever you do, don't agitate the centaur by shooting magic in the direction. An entire castle to roam, yet you choose to wander here. Please, we don't want any trouble. We're simply passing through. Do you take us for fools? That we do not notice more and more of your kind around here, in league with the poachers? Uh -oh. We aren't involved with them. Uh -oh. If anything, we want to see them stopped. I hope for your sake that is true. Our kind is swiftly losing patience with the poachers and those they work with. I'm pretty sure they would say our kind. That's pretty bad dialogue right there. Um, <clears throat> stream's been good, Arkham. D. Yorger says, happy birthday. Hope you have a great one. Uh, it's in a month. The, stream, the birthday's in a month. We're trying to plan for it. But thank you. Salt and Vinegar says... I pay for games and Netflix. Good for you. Okay, I received a twenty a dollar twenty-five tip. I pooped to say, can you play Quidditch in this game? This person's actually their name was I pooped to say. Uh, no, you cannot play Quidditch in this game. And actually that was a big thing of contention when it released. People were hoping Quidditch was in it. And like within the first five minutes of the game when you arrive at Hogwarts, the headmaster's like, there's no Quidditch. And everyone's like, What? No Quidditch. Yeah, no Quidditch in this one. Maybe maybe they'll make a sequel with it in it, but there's no Quidditch in this. There's also no announced plans for any DLC. <clears throat> so, there you go. Okay, um... I received a $30 tip from Haseo. Haseo, thank you so much. Biggest contribution of the day. This is going to allow us to go with the Slytherin hat for the first time in a long time since I've been playing Hogwarts. I really appreciate your support. Let's get that on the leaderboard. Let's do it. Slytherin hat time. Thank goodness. Finally get to have a nice comfy hat for playthrough. Oh, yes. Oh, it is nice. Boy, I love this hat, actually. It's very comfy. Very One of the most comfortable hats I have in my, my hats that I wear on stream. It's very nice. Thank you. He said, I finally got the platinum last night. Altogether, it came to 62 hours of gameplay to get it, but it's well worth it. Get your Slytherin hat on. Thank you very much. So, as I said today... <clears throat> Being to this playthrough, I've been running a month. We're over 35 hours in. Uh, I'm not going to be doing all the side stuff. It's, just not, it's not worth the completionist deal for me. But uh, I'm happy to hear you got it. Obviously, you like the game a lot if you went that crazy for it, right? My wife is very close. I think she was in he the was 60s, her, 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 her playthrough. 60 that hours. could have gone worse. Centaurs aren't exactly fans of wizard kind. Centaurs. And the poachers aren't helping matters. Aren't but they centaurs? No, centaurs. I did notice the poachers talking with a few villagers in Hogsmeade. I'm not sure why. Perhaps that's why the centaurs are suspicious. Still here says, would you ever negotiate with your detractors or trolls? Well, here's the thing. I don't... There's two groups on, this, on Earth you don't negotiate with. One is terrorists and one is dorks. And they're both, so... Now, actually, you know, seriously, the, the only time I've ever really had a, a, a positive interaction was when they were getting false takedowns and stuff on YouTube and Twitter, and people were impersonating me. And I basically said, listen, I don't like you guys, but I'm not going to stand for people impersonating me and, and abusing law. Because that's what it is. It's false copyright takedowns and the like. So in that case, there was a few times where I actually wrote legal statements saying, this is not me, you know, this should be reversed, la, la, la. Sometimes on tweet, Twitter, I would try to contact them and counter notice and say, no, this is not real. They don't care. On at least this was a couple of years ago. Twitter re actually responded to me saying, uh, so we, we didn't know if you needed any action taken. Do we need, could we help you take additional information? To which I would respond again, be like, yes, I told you. Any claims on Twitter are not me. I've literally never taken anything down on Twitter. Please reverse all these claims. And then they just ignored me and never responded. So I don't think they really care. Sad, I tried. But, you know, it is what it is. But that's about it. No, I'm not going to be negotiating with, with no-life losers who tried to stalk me and, and harass me and my family. That's, that's not happening, so... Okay. What the hell? What is that? That's the third time I've seen a dug bog behave that A dug bog just ate a it wild seems animal. Lots of beasts have been more aggressive than usual lately. 
I've noticed that too. It's almost like there's something in the water. Huh. I wonder if that's the quest. There's something in the water. There's something in the water. And it ain't good. This is odd. Odd? What is it? Not entirely sure. But Rebellion. Look if the poachers were here, perhaps we can find out why. Look for signs of the poachers. Is that a chest? A random unidentified neck item out here in a chest. Okay. Haseo said I forgot to update the info bar. You're absolutely right. I'm sorry, Haseo. I bought it is. I was so excited about getting the hat on. <laughs> Thank you, Haseo, for the biggest tip of the day. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. I was so excited to put on this, the comfy Slytherin hat. I forgot to put your name up there. My fault. <clears throat> okay. Why wouldn't they take their cages with them when they left? Because they're probably dead. Pelt. Poor. Still smoking. They can't have been gone long. And a chest to loot. Crappy gloves. Oh wow, they're very, Rebellion. they're very low style individuals. Crappy gloves back here. What's this? This is goblin metal. Seems out of place in a poacher camp. Goblin metal. I should tell Poppy about it. Those wily goblins. Always be wary of the goblins. Anything interesting? <laughs> Poachers were here. All sorts of evidence. But I found something else. It's goblin made. I found goblin armor. Let's keep searching, but carefully. Merlin only knows what's going on here. There we go. Sorry for the misspelling. I guess my keyboard is having issues here. About this. this is a wireless thing. <clears throat> Arkham feels I should play an Arkham game like Arkham How Origins or Night for the Summertime Downtown. Perhaps we'll see. Align. Last year we had the build up for Gotham oh, Knight. This year we have the build up for Suicide Squad, Definitely right? Although, wait a minute. Suicide Squad comes out in May. Never mind. We don't have time. <laughs> no creatures, though. So, what are they doing out here? Let's take a closer look. They won't be happy to see Let's us. Let's take a closer look and kill Should them all. This what or the? Perhaps a less discreet approach. Hurry up! Hard to say from up here. Let's get a better lay of the land. Oh my god, she's real slow. No clue why there's such a fuss over poaching. He's weak. Owned. Anyone looking for trouble? Revenue. Got a when they talk chunk and then they get completely dominated and destroyed, right? <laughs> Too good. You think they were guarding the minister for magic himself? What is going on here? <laughs> Only one way to find out. Whoa, what is this? Wait a minute. Holy crap. Ladies and gentlemen, listen to this. I just received a $34 tip. Wow. From a Zori lover, he says, fuck it. Do the scarf too. Let me out loud. Wow, thank you, man. Thank you, guys. You guys are awesome today. I really appreciate that. Missouri Lover, now we've topped off the tip's goal. Oh, by the way, my wife is arriving home, so I can close the door now. Jasper's going to probably run downstairs and see her. I just heard the garage open. <clears throat> Thank you, Missouri Lover. Sorry, Haseo, you were only on the leaderboard for only like two minutes there. Uh, yeah, we did it. Let me get the scarf. We haven't worn the scarf all but once. So that is awesome. Let's play that big animation. Here we go. While I grab the scarf. And wrap 
it around. Loosely, not like I did earlier where I like choked myself. There we go. It's Slytherin time. Slytherin. I've joined Clan Slytherin. Well, I didn't join. I was already part of Clan Slytherin. Nice. Wow, this is like super comfy. I would totally wear this out. I really would. It's like super soft and nice. It's like really good quality for the. I didn't pay that much for it on, on uh, Amazon. <clears throat> thank you, Haseo. Thank you, Missouri. I love her. Thank you to everyone who contributed today. One Minute Man as well. Everyone. Thank you guys so very much. So, what are they up to here? Did we take them all out? I think we did, right? What's in the big tent, though? Let's find out. What in oh, here we go again. Thing? Look at this Are crap. Wow. What a bunch of assholes. They got dragon fights going on. It's a dragon fighting ring. This is Horntel Hall. Wow. The name makes sense now. And the secrecy. No wonder the poachers were in Hogsmeade so much. Likely taking bets and spreading the word. Given how crowded it is here, how could they possibly enjoy this? The centaurs have every right to be disgusted with wizard kind. There must be more dragons here. The poachers are far too greedy to run a fighting ring with only two dragons. We should take advantage of most eyes being in the fight and look around. But be discreet. You especially can't afford to be spotted. <laughs> Arkham says, I think this will be game of the year. I mean, maybe? Could be? It's certainly a great game. Uh, I don't necessarily mean it's going to be game of the year, but it's, it's pretty good. Uh, it's pretty much the front runner for the year. You know what I mean? Like, there hasn't been anything as good as this game so far this year, that's for sure. Is he looking over here? I can't. Yeah, I guess he is, huh? I don't know what Victor was sinking straight in a bucket. Shut up. <laughs> Can't go in there? Giant dragons fighting. It's pretty messed up, man. This will definitely be some people's game of the year. But you got to remember, there's a lot of good games that's supposed to be lined up for this year. So. See if your brothers come around to our way of thinking. Join us. I say we go too far. The violence isn't going to get us what we want. <laughs> I say, if every last wizard is run through with a blade, the violence is going to get me precisely what I want. Gotta love that group petrification. too while we're here. Why not get a snack on the way? A little pick-me-up during the rescue mission. Hello, Amora. How convenient of them to have the lowest level lock on this cage. <laughs> Dummies. Do -do -do. Oh. 
All right. All right. I have the egg. Ready. The elements of surprise will only buy us a few seconds. Let's make them count. Kind of a few ring of elf potions that's here. That's good. Tight. Extra healing is always good. Guy. You're the one we're looking for, ain't you? For a friend. My Flipendo. Oh, I wanted the Flipendo then. Stop right there. Are you seriously just oh, on like a fucking guy? Anamagus, take this. I guess I have to use a wiggle well. I don't care about these optional objectives at all. I don't really care much anyway. What have you done? Get the hell is jumping to the bell. But he was not dead. There we go. We don't have time. We need to free him now before more show up. I don't have the stupid pull spell equipped. I guess I do. Hey, 
And why were you the only two who knew how to do that? Yeah, exactly. Bad guys are stupid. They're so dumb they just stood there and got burned while you blocked. How dumb were they not, not blocked? Morons. Duh. That was a Hebridean black. I'm guessing the egg we have belongs Why to Why is there such a crazy echo? What the hell is that? You hear that crazy echo, right? I don't think she knew now it's gone. Her egg. She wouldn't have left without it. What now? She didn't exactly leave us a calling card. I I don't know. Nothing about this day was expected. Not the goblins and definitely not the fighting ring. The last thing I planned on was a dragon egg. And the poachers saw us, which cannot be good. What should we do with the egg? Let's ask. Since the dragon we freed flew off, does that mean we get to keep the egg? I'd much rather we have it than the poachers, at least for now. But I don't think we should keep it indefinitely. It'll be hard hiding something like this from Professor Weasley for long. 672 says, I wonder what would happen if someone pulled out a gun. Are the wands faster than bullets? Well, I would think they, if you see someone with a gun, you, you defend yourself first. So they probably put up the force field, which is fast, block all the bullets, and then wait for them to run out of ammo and then take them out, right? Because you think the force field would probably block bullets, you would think. We aren't helping ourselves standing here. Let's get to safety. We can sort this out later. You're right. If there's anything the poachers are good at, it's tracking their prey. And right now, we're it. Be careful, won't you? All right. I shall see you back at the castle. The Defender of Dragons. How nice. That's a good one. Hesea was suggesting that I resupply, stock up on potions, and get my ancient magic meter up. My ancient magic meter, sadly, the only way to do that is to find those ma those magical spots in the world, right? And I, they're just random. So, not knowing where they are, as I've already said, this playthrough's already gone 35 hours long, and at some point we need to finish it. Uh, listen, I'm enjoying it, but it's so lengthy, and there's so much to do in the open world, and my audience wants me to move on to other stuff. So, I do have to try to advance the story. So, no, I'm not going to be doing any more collect-a-thon stuff, unless I basically find it along the way. <clears throat> I don't think it really makes sense. Um... Demi guy, we got the demi guys there. See that? We got the demi guys there. Mm. Trying to find all the hamlets. We did not get the demi guys in this town. We've never been to that town. So in the meantime, as we're trying to kill time, we need the demi guys in Lower Hogsfield. Oh, let's do that. Let's get that demi guys, and maybe we can do the other while we're waiting for the next mission to appear. We'll grab a couple demi guy statues. Let's see if there is a, a a a store where I can buy potions. Seems a pleasant. Weasley. Transformation spell. After you've completed the required tasks, which I'm certain will produce. Oh no. Revelio. Attend my class to learn the what new spell. What are the spell. tasks? Afterwards, we will discuss your progress thus far in the term. So we're at Lower Hogsfeld, but I'm not seeing any reaction to my Revelio that's showing me where the demi guys would be. I mean, it's only like two two buildings, huh. right? I'm now Revelio. It's you. Thank you again for saving me. I'll oh, this is the kid we you. saved. Oh, cool. He's actually at the house now. Thank you again for finding my dear Archie. I honestly don't know what I would do without him. He's all I have now. Oh, the shed? Where the hell could the demi guys be? This is it. This is this is Lower Hogsmeade. It's just th those two buildings. Look, these two buildings here, and the shed, and this vendor over here, right? Revelio. Hello, Mr. Semi. What can I do for you? What do you have for sale? Let's see here. 
What can I help you with today? Uh, cool. Ah, yes, a wonderful choice. Bought some Wigan Well. The house has a lock on it. I already, sometime. I already removed the locks and looted the houses. Yet for some reason, the demi guys isn't showing up. One of these were, I mean, this might have been the one that was locked. I think. Rebellion. Yeah, I don't know. There's nothing in here. See? It definitely said there was a demi guys in this town, but there's nothing in here. Yes, yeah, so say oh, I am aware of that. He says if you keep walking around, your your character should mention a demi guys. I know, but I mean, I where could it be? Seriously, where the hell could it be? There's a well, the shop, the two houses, and a shed, and we just checked all of them, and there's no demi guys, right? Revelio. It's a Merlin trial down there. Not sure how I'd fare in a little place like this. I am utterly confused as to how there's a demi guys here. Unless it's in a completely different place from all the other demi guys in the game. You know what I'm saying? Like maybe it's Oh there it is! Look! What do we have here? A demigod. It's night, but it's not glowing. Is it glitched or something? It's nighttime now. It's night now. Fine now, demi guys. Well, now I guess it counts. There you go. Tonight is is uh like a dragon Ishin. Someone just asked. Okay. Well, there you go. I agree. It should be on there with Revelio. I don't know why it doesn't show up with Revelio. That's kind of weird. All right, so real quickly, let's head over to this. We've never been to this one before. Aaron sure. And apparently there's a Demi guys there. And then we'll go back to school for the next mission. Aaron sure. You know why we've never been there? It's because it's way over here on the side and there's nothing else to go there for, right? My schedule shows Oblivion. That's incorrect. It is uh, Like a Dragon Ishin tonight, and then tomorrow is um, Wulong and Oblivion. So. Argum, I have no idea how to answer that question. I don't know how to see when memberships end. Don't know what to tell you. Wee Woo Wagon says it will show up with Revelio, but only when it's late night time when the game considers it It's like a place night. right out of a storybook. So, Aaron share. Oh, there's one right I see it. It's right there. It's literally in Hello, front of no us more. here. There we go. So after this, we'll only need one more. We'll literally only need one more, and we'll have level 3 lockpick. Maybe we can find it fast and treat it in at the school. That would be great. Here we go. I guess the hamlets are the way to go since there's only one per hamlet. Makes them a lot easier to find. So, what hamlet can we go to that we haven't found the Demi guys? Found that one. That's the one we just did. Aha! Let's do it. Yes, yeah, so I say, oh, I did get some from classrooms, but he's like, he says he remembers more in classrooms. You may be right. Going to those classes at night. But this is it. This is the last one we'll actually need for the level 3 lockpick. We just gotta find it now. It's definitely nighttime now. Rebellion. So it should show up here. My mother would like to speak with me. I believe she has learned about some of what we've been up to. Oh, you're in trouble, Natty. I'm hoping she may be easier on me. You're in big trouble, Natty. Can we meet to the three princes? Oh, Poppy. We may finally be safe since we rescued the dragon from Horntown. You're in trouble, Poppy. Everyone's in trouble. Everyone needs you. All right, here we go. This is it. Hello, Hamora. Hello, Hamora. Hello, Hamora. Boom. Hello, Amora. Fine now, Demi guys. That should be it. We can now go and get the level three unlocking. Let's do it. We gotta go back to school anyway, so you might as well, right? Okay, back to Hogwarts.
Back to... Yeah, we got all these now. Look, a dragon debrief. Mums the word. And Professor Weasley's assignment. Collect the field guide page in the underground harbor. Collect the field guide page from the book on intermediate transfiguration in the library. It sounds like these weren't available yet. And now they've been added. That's what it sounds like to me. Um, and then we have the man with the moons. This one we can do now too. Full of the dead should be ready to go now. The man with the moons. The man behind the moons. It's too soon for the man behind the moons. <laughs> now I'm just singing random songs that rhyme with moon. No, no lock will stop me from getting all crappy gear, says she. <laughs> there you go. I never played Tomba on the PlayStation 1, Mishayo. No, never heard of it. Hello, Mr. Moon. Oh, greetings. Uh, any luck removing some more of those demiguys statues? Here we go. I actually have some moons for you. Dear me, you have been busy. Incredible. Thank you. You're ready for the final Alamora lesson. With this knowledge, no lock shall ever stand in your way. You have done all I asked. I only wish I knew who put those statues everywhere in the first place. <sighs> Alas. Alas. If you do find more, please feel free to remove them. You'll be doing your caretaker a huge service. And if I ever find out who the bully is behind this cruel trick, I shall let you know. I wonder if you get them all if he tells Thank you. Thank you once again for your assistance and tenacity. It was me. I was drunk and I did it and I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> now that you've mastered Alahamora, no lock is unbreakable. Uh, but do feel free to keep finding demigod statues and remove you just said this. those moons. You literally just said this. Hello, kitty. All right. So, wait to hear from Gladwin Moon? Oh, so there will be a follow-up to the quest later, and he'll answer us about that. Gladwin Moon is a pun because you're finding his moons, and moon is a Korean name. Is it? I did not know that. Okay, <clears throat> um, all right, what should we do next? The Dragon Debrief? No, we should do Full of the Dead. Because that one we've already got in progress. We could finish that up right away. Here we go. The man behind the moon. Do, 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 do. So do we have to go see our offspring now that we've uh, raised? Wait, where is that? Is this it? No, that's the uh, that's the beach. Shoot. Here it is. Did it work? Well, there's no one in here. Is that our offspring? Oh, here it is. Hello. Hello, cutie. A cute Thestral offspring. Give it a nice, a nice brushing. I should let Deke know about the newborn Thestral. How nice. A baby Thestral. How cute. A baby Thestral. The man behind the baby Thestrals. All right. Where's the Deke? Where's the Deke? Oops. I keep rolling completely by accident. I want that maximum potion. There we go. Okay. By the way, hold on. I want to make the thing that makes the random moonstone. Here it is. So this just makes random moonstone for me. How cool. All right, let's talk to Deke. Deke should be happy. 
All right, here we go. You'll be pleased to know. Hello, Deke. You'll be pleased to know that a little Thestral was born. How wonderful to have more Thestrals in our world. Such misunderstood beasts. I'm sorry that we can both see Thestrals, Deke. Deke is privileged to see such majestic beasts. But sometimes wishes Deke couldn't. Deke is to blame. Really? What do you mean, to blame? He murdered people. Years ago, Deke's master ordered Deke to help him capture a phoenix, the rarest of all beasts, that master had spotted high on a cliff. The phoenix was the most beautiful beast Deke had ever seen. Deke begged master to leave her be. When Deke hesitated to climb up the cliff as ordered, Deke had to punish himself. As Deke punished himself, Master grew angrier and angrier, and in his frustration, cast at the regal bird. Deke suspects the phoenix was protecting eggs when wow. it swooped down in fear and fury. Before Deke could reach him, Master fell from the cliff. His master Deke died. stayed on that cliffside for days, punishing himself before Tobbs found him. Wow. That's awful. What a horrible tale, Deke. I'm so sorry. Deke has only told Professor Weasley that story. And now yourself. Deke often wonders what became of that phoenix. Deke feels fortunate to be at Deke, Hogwarts Deke, it's kind of dusty now, in here. You're trying to clean up. Look at the air. <laughs> Jeez. Perhaps Deke can make amends for what came musk in here. Whew. Sheesh. Deke, man, it's stinky. <laughs> what is going on? All right, well, that's done. Okay. What's next? <laughs> the natural musk of the room of requirements. Um, all right. We're good. We did everything. We can now do these main missions. This, I think we'll do this later. Let's do these. So let's do Dragon Debrief. Talk to Poppy. Where is Poppy at? Where is Poppy at? Uh, oh, not here? Oh, where is she? Oh, map? She is in Hogsmeade? Oh, okay. Why does this stupid waypoint? Get this out of here. Okay. No, I... Oh! Back to the map. I screwed up. So she's in Hogsmeade. Where is she in Hogsmeade? Around the middle? Oh, that was fast travel. Here we go. <laughs> Alright. Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? Right, let's see what Poppy has to say about our little dragon rescue mission at the Three Broomsticks. <laughs> Why did you, you just get the evil eye from, uh, what's this her is name? a change of pace from our last her outing. Name. Don't remind me. The thought of that ass. tent still makes my blood boil. I've been thinking about those poor dragons in the fighting ring. The collars they were wearing, they appeared to be goblin silver. I think a collar is precisely what we found at that poacher camp. I've never known poachers to use anything like that. That's before. what that was at the, the camp. Dragon that attacked dragon. my carriage was wearing the collar, and Professor Fig was genuinely baffled by its behavior. That attack always did strike me as a little strange, seemingly coming out of nowhere. Surely you aren't suggesting that the collars somehow control the poor creatures. Yeah, maybe. Exactly. Hmm. Merlin, I don't think the dragon we set free was wearing a collar, but we should check. And if we can find her, we can return her egg. Paseo says, shame you don't have the shop. You can you can have as your own. You can sell your own gear for more coins. Yeah. Again, it's a PlayStation exclusive quest, right? I can't do it. <clears throat> That's a good idea. We need to see this through. I'll start looking into it right away. There was something else that I wanted to discuss with you. I didn't want to press it before. It seems I may have caused you more trouble with Victor Rookwood. Why is he after you? Rookwood is working with Ranrock, and Ranrock is after something I found at Gringotts. Fig had a portkey that led us there after the dragon attack. It's a bit of a long story, and Fig had asked that I not speak of it yet. Goodness. Well, that certainly helps to shed light on what we saw at the tent. Don't worry, I'll guard your secret as if it were my own. I shan't press for more details. In fact, I should probably be going. I'd like to track that dragon down as soon as I can. So we're really not doing anything with this quest yet. It just kind of begins I'll it. I'll let you know when I have news. Yeah, it sounds like another quest will pop up later for that. Okay. Uh, now what else do we got? We got the other one that's a side quest before we do the main quest. Mum's the word. Speak with Natty outside of the Divinations classroom. Okay. 
Do Weasley next to get the last spell? Yeah, but Weasley is the story. Did you see? Weasley is actually the story mission. So I think we should do this. We should wrap up all the other stuff first, right? What did I do? It said outside the divination classroom. Why? Huh? Look. Speak with Natty outside the divination classroom. Then I go to the map. And the waypoint is nowhere near that. What are you talking about? Why does it say Hogsmeade? What? I think it's glitched. Hold on. I think it's glitched out. It is glitched. My waypoint's completely screwed up. It didn't update the quest. See that? Now it fixed. Okay. Okay, so now... Or maybe I was looking at it backwards. I think I was looking at it backwards. Because I'm stupid. I was looking at the waypoint backwards. Alright. Just ignore me. I'm 40 years old. I'm very dumb. Okay? I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Yeah, give me the benefit of the doubt. I'm a little older than most of you, probably. I'm a little slow. Okay, I'm sorry about that. I suspect you are the one who has been interfering with a rather personal matter. Oh, shit. The Demigai statues and oh. bones contained therein were placed as they were for good reason. Who's this? You should not meddle in the personal affairs of others. Pure Pemberton. Think Mr. Pemberton meant to use his own stationery. He knows something about those demiguise moons. Huh. He's in Hogsmeade, apparently. Perhaps I shall pay We have a new visit. side quest about the demiguise moons. That's cool. All right, we'll do that after. You wanted to speak with me, mother? I had hoped to speak with you alone, Natsai. Your message mentioned your concern about an unusual creature that was spotted in the woods near Hogsmeade. That could have been anything. You know what it was, Natsai. I am allowed to leave the castle. I am always careful, mother. Careful? Officer Singer disagrees. Mm -hmm. She sent me an owl telling me that you have been trying to collect evidence of some kind against dark wizards. She berated me for not keeping a closer eye on you. And she is right. I do not want you visiting Hogsmeade for the near Oh, future. shit, what you're grounded. Her? My little gazelle, you are well-intentioned. But you must not meddle in the affairs of dangerous people. If someone had meddled in Matabilaland, father would still be with us. Oh, no. I must get to class. Perhaps your friend can get you to listen to reason. <laughs> so frustrating. Wow. She never listens to me. She called you her little gazelle. Is that a term of endearment where you're from? Absolutely it not. It's a massive to... insult. I am the unusual creature in Hogsmeade, she mentioned. Self-transfiguration is not taught at Hogwarts. Oh. So I am gently discouraged from She transfigured seed. herself. However, I am an Animagus. And it is in my gazelle form that I have been able to wander the highlands rather freely until now. Much to my mother's chagrin. That is how I managed to spy on Rookwood and Harlow. Oh, wow. She turned herself into a gazelle. That's interesting. Oh, uh, let's see here. American Maga Undertaker says, Isn't my name in the game the same as the Dark Souls characters I've made? Oh, uh, Dumas is. Philippe is now. It was a kind of a combination of stuff. I wanted to make him sound like fancy. Philippe Dumas. So there you go. Um, How did you become an Animagus? Were you born an Animagus? Or did you Animagus, learn to become one? Excuse me, Animagi are not born. The process is quite elaborate. It involves holding a mandrake leaf in one's mouth for an entire month. Oh, what? Then placing the leaf in a crystal file so that it is imbued with moonlight. Then adding one of your How own How did you hands. do that? And that is just the beginning. How did you hold it in your mouth for a Self month? Self-transfiguration is common it. among students at Wagadu. But Professor Weasley considers it much too dangerous to teach at Hogwarts. That, like, seriously, how did she hold a leaf in her mouth for a month and it didn't, di didn't digest or nothing? Right? Biggest Chungus just did a super chat. Thank you so much. First found you on a heavy rain playthrough way back in the day. Was really happy to see you're still making content. Loving your stream. Thank you. Yes. Very different styles of content these days. Everything's changed many, many times over the years. But, um... I absolutely love the content I put out and being able to chill with all of you like this. Thank you for the super chat. It's good to have you here. Although we are pretty much about to adjourn in a few minutes here. 
Uh, I got another tip too. Wow, five dollar tip came in from Phil's smelly chair. I'm asking you a video. Uh, no, I'm watching a video for 2019. Uh, back then, you if you basically you know basically I said I would never do it. It was pointless and brainless. You weren't joking that you've changed now. I think you changed for the better. I'm glad that you're doing these reactions. You know, it's just like anything. Things change over time. People suggest things. People request things. I still hate live reacting to like game shows and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, it's an E3 live react. I hate that. I really, I think there's zero value added doing a live react. I really do. Um, the kind of reacting I'm doing is very different. Watching a video together, stopping, having analysis of it, talking with you guys, having discussion around it, I feel is value added reacting as opposed to watching someone else's stuff like a trailer and literally just laughing or whatever and you're getting paid for it. I think that's stupid. So I'm trying to do quality because you guys have requested it over the years. So I hope you feel that what I'm doing is of quality. The sales is that means she has to hold the leaf while sleeping, eating, and going to the bathroom. Exactly. She always has to have it in her mouth. I don't understand how her saliva didn't digest the leaf because it would break it down and make it fall apart. Now the nickname makes sense. What an extraordinary ability to have. It is. I love transforming, but Mother is less enthusiastic about it. She says that no creature, especially one as rare as a gazelle, should be bounding about where poaching has become so uh. prevalent. <sighs> She claims that she has mm. foreseen tragedy befall me in my gazelle form. But she has used her sight to control me too many times. I no longer believe it. Perhaps your mother is right. She's concerned for your safety. It may be best for you to stay away from Hogsmeade for now. That may be safe, but I do not believe that it would be best. Do you? You could have fled the moment you discovered that Rookwood, Harlow, and Randrock were after you, but you did not. I choose to act as you have. I must deal with Rookwood and Harlow, not hide from them. <sighs> My mother cannot know where I am all the time. Thank you for being here during that rather awkward conversation. Okay, is that the end of that quest line now? Or at least for now? It sounds like it. Okay. So what do we got left to do? Uh, really nothing, except this one. Yeah, Piers Pemberton, back in Hogsmeade. All right, let's do that. Okay. Where is it? Maybe we just have to find him? There doesn't seem to be a waypoint, it just says go to Hogsmeade. Huh. So I'm curious what these moons were doing. What were the Demi guys is doing all along that we've undone now, right? Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Those statues took time and effort. Go. Pardon me, sir, but about those curious Demi guy statues I've seen. What? Who are you? Why do you ask? I find them intriguing. They're quite clever. Oh, thank you. A lot of craftsmanship and care went into them. I, I oh yeah, he's totally not so involved So you or did create them. I, uh, yes, I did. It was a ploy to give that pathetic oaf Moon a taste of the grief he caused me years wow. ago. Wow. You are the one who's been pilfering them. <laughs> I am, at the request of Mr. Moon. I received your owl on your stationery. <clears throat> ah, well, fitting Moon would enlist a student. Too cowardly to do it himself. <laughs> Hasn't changed a bit. Even when we were at school, he was a cowardly bully. Gave me a horrible nickname, which I shan't repeat. Uh. I was thrilled when we left school and he seemed gone for good. Then I started seeing him around Hogsmeade. It was too much. Even if I do take satisfaction in that his life's destiny was to be a lowly caretaker. So he wants revenge on his school time bully. Wow. Mr. Moon does a good deal for the school, and he's taught me a lot. He's terrified of those statues. <laughs> I know. You should have seen his face when that boggart appeared. Oh, priceless. That's when I knew what I needed to do. I simply didn't want to encounter him anymore. So, I shrewdly put a boggart in his path to learn his greatest fear. Wow. I then created the demigod statues to keep him in his place, so to speak. The moons were inspired play on his name. 
It worked brilliantly. Until you started clearing them out. You're no better than Mr. Moon. The statues are a form of bullying. You're no better than him. Perhaps it's time you both moved on. Ah, fair point, I suppose. If they've terrified him, as you say, he may have learned his lesson. Yeah, guys, I'm sorry. The schedule seems to be wrong. I must have I must have mistyped it last night. It's like a Dragon Ishin tonight. I'm sorry about that. I'll be sure to set up the stream afterwards properly so you guys will know what's coming up tonight. Okay, my fault. Oh, now they want me to talk to Moon again. I guess maybe this will end the quest line now. If we talk to him again. <clears throat> Why is he in a, he's in a different spot, huh? Here we go. Okay. All right, our answers. Mr. Moon, I've learned who's behind the demigod statues. It was a classmate of yours that you bullied, Piers Pemberton. Oh, am I a known? Pigtails Piers. Uh. I don't think he likes being called that. Of course he does. Oh, we had such flowing locks. Oh, we used to laugh about them. <laughs> I laugh the artist of all. Yeah, that's why he clever, hates you. Clever, clever man. Huh? I'd no idea he was so devious. <laughs> I must go and congratulate him. Whatever statues remain seem less terrifying now that I know they were put out by old pigtails. Continue collecting them if you like. As for me, I'm gonna go and pay a visit. Great, to my he's gonna friend. go bully him some more. Wow. Well. <laughs> Oops. I don't think that quite turned out how we intended. Now he's gonna go bully the guy even more for doing that. Wow. All right. Well, guys, it is time to save up. It is time to adjourn our Hogwarts journey for today. We had a lot of progress today, right? Some major story developments. Next time around, I feel like we're gonna have even more. It looks like we did a lot of the side content that was major missions available for now. So I'm thinking next time we're gonna go right into the next story, which is the uh, get two field guide pages for Weasley, Professor Weasley, and then, you know, Weasley, I guess, teaches you the transmog spell or transfiguration spell. And then, you know, the story should advance from there. And since we already did a lot of the side content, I think it'll kind of be like almost turbo mode through this winter. Maybe, maybe not. I guess we'll see. But um, great stream today. Great interactions. Great fun. Thank you for the support, of course. Everything was good. Had a great time here today with Hogwarts Legacy. And it will continue next week, balanced with whatever we choose to play. You know, we'll be talking about that tomorrow, obviously, because we're not sure exactly what we're going to be playing later on this week along with Hogwarts. But thank you guys so very much. Great stream today. And if you're still watching on demand on YouTube, thank you as well for the ongoing viewership of the playthrough. I really appreciate that as well. Remember, liking the videos, leaving comments helps a ton. All right, until next time, everyone. Thank you.